Welcome to this final tutorial in my series on how to animate text in Premiere Pro. And in this one, finally, I'm going to actually explain how to do animations from scratch. Now, before I begin, I just want to make it very clear that this is quite complicated. It involves keyframes and animating time codes, and it's not for everyone. That's why I've created the other tutorial videos to show you how to make more basic animation techniques, which is totally fine and suitable for your assignment. But for some students, I know you want to know um, how to do it from scratch and how to get cr complete creative control. And I'll go through the process now. So first off, I'll show you what I've actually created. Um, we have welcome to text, paradise text, kind of moving in at a, at a at a pace and then disappearing at a pace as well. Um, so I'll just explain exactly what's going on. I've got two different text elements here, the welcome text and also the paradise text. The welcome text, when I press play, it kind of appears on screen from left to right, but also it doesn't appear here or here. If you really look at it, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like magically appearing uh, just not, not from the side of the screen, but kind of in the screen. And then the paradise text does the same thing, except from going from bottom to top. Again, it didn't come all the way from the bottom of the screen. It kind of came from this disappearing section right here. See how it's just kind of appearing on screen and it comes up. And then both elements, the welcome and the paradise, will disappear from going top to bottom at the same time, like so. And again, they kind of fade into these magic lines that I've created. Um, right, so there's a lot of different competing elements going on there, and I'll try and explain as best as I can how to create this. So what I'm going to show you, you saw that some of the text goes left to right, some of the text goes top to bottom, some of the text goes bottom to top. Basically, you can uh, use these techniques to create any kind of movement that you want, whether it's left to right, up to down, or, or vice versa. It's up to you. Um, all right. So I've got here the exact same elements, but without any animations applied. Um, so we can start from scratch. So you'll see here that if I press play, the text just appears and it's not doing anything special. And then right at the end, it just disappears again. And um, let's first start off just with the welcome to text and then we'll move on to the paradise text after. So the welcome to text. Um, first thing to do is just to make sure that you're in the effects panel up here because that's how, where we will need to get all our elements. Um, and I'll just explain what this effects panel looks like. Um, obviously we have the timeline and the visual representation of our edit. You're completely used to that. But on the left hand side, we have our effects control panel. This part are the effects that we've applied. And this part is, is its own timeline just for animation effects. It follows the exact same timeline as this one down here. You'll see if I move it left and right, it's also moving left and right down here at the same time. Um, but the difference is that this timeline will only show animation controls, um, while this one won't, right? And then over on the far right, we have all the different effects that Premiere Pro has, um, which is a lot, right? There's so many different effects that you can, you can play around with. Um, and I'm only going to teach you two of them. Okay, so the two effects that we need to apply to each of these clips in order to create what I created before, are uh, there's two of them and I'll go through them. The first is called crop, C-R-O-P, crop. Find crop, take it, and then move it into your effects control panel. The second one is called transform. Transform find it, drag it over as well into your effects control panel. Um, it's very important that crop is above transform. So apply crop first and then apply transform first. If you've applied them the other way around, it's very easy. You can just grab transform and move it above or below as needed. Okay, um, even though 
putting crop first is important in terms of the layering of these effects. I'm actually going to explain how to uh, operate transform first. Uh, what transform does is it changes the positioning uh, and various other elements of the text. We're only interested in changing the position, but you can change the scale, skew it, rotate it, etc. if you want to create really crazy complicated animations, but I'm only just going to be changing the positioning. Um, in order to uh, do an animation, you're basically going to have to tell Adobe Premiere Pro two key inputs. The first is what the text should look like before the animation applies, and then what the text should look like after the animation is applied, right? And then a Premiere Pro is going to go from point A to point B, and whatever's in between, well, that's the animation. Right, so we need to set a point A and a point B, a start and an end, um, explain what the difference of those points are to the program, and then press play, and hopefully the magic will happen. So what I'm gonna do first is because that's what I want it to look like. That's what I want the text to look like in point B, right? After the animation's finished, that's what the reveal should look like. The text should be right there. So I'm going to set a point B first. So let's set it about there, which is about probably about half a second in length. Um, so this is where I want to set my end of animation. Um, remember this timeline here, corresponds to that timeline. So I could have done exactly the same thing like this, about there, about half a second. All right, so I need to set what's called a keyframe. That's gonna be our animation indicator. Over under position, there's a toggle here that says toggle animation. If I click on it, it's created a keyframe right there. Now at the moment, the keyframe is, well, it's telling Premiere Pro to do nothing, um, which is exactly what I want, because remember, this is the end of the animation. Now let's scroll this back to the start of the animation, and I'm going to put in another keyframe. To put in an extra keyframe, you don't click toggle animation, you click here, add, remove keyframe, I'm going to add another one. So there we go. So I've got two keyframes. I've got my start keyframe, my end keyframe. Now for my start keyframe, I'm actually going to do something. Because I want this text to go left to right, I'm going to be working with the X axis. So I'm gonna move this text off screen like that. So the start keyframe is text off screen. The end keyframe is text on screen. So if I just press space now, hopefully it's moving. It's moving very slow and it doesn't look great, but it's still doing it. So we have start keyframe to end keyframe. Okay, the next thing is, um, as you can see, it's moving very slow. So what, to increase the speed, we need to start changing the velocity. You can uh, open up this position tab and you start to get options with velocity. Um, I think the easiest way to do this, and I won't explain why it works, but just trust me it does, is to click on whatever the final animation point is, right click on it, go to temporal interpola interpolation, and don't ask me what that means, I've got no idea, and change it to ease in. What that's gonna do is our velocity, uh, I guess, meter here, um, basically starts fast and then sl then slows down. So let's have a look at what it looks like now. Still very slow. I'm going to drag the start of this velocity right up so it gets really, really fast. So it's going to go really fast and then slow. Let's have a look now. There we go. See how it starts off fast and then kind of slows down to a stop? I like that a lot better. All right, happy with that. Um, the only thing now is that you can see that the welcome to is coming off the side of the screen, which is fine if that's what you want, but I think it looks cleaner if it comes out of like a magical line on screen. The way we achieve that is through the crop effect. 
So I'm going to move this timeline right to the end of the animation. And I actually want the welcome to to kind of come out of an invisible line here. So in my crop, we have a way to crop this image from the left, the top, the right, the bottom. I'm right now only working on the left. So if I move this, uh, you need to make sure, sorry, you need to make sure crop is above whatever the, the layer is. So I'll move it above the layer and then this should work now. There we go. So I can use that crop to completely go over the entire text if I want, but I don't. I just want the crop to start there, right next to it. So in this case, it's 7%. If I play again now, you'll see that the welcome is kind of appearing out of nowhere instead of out of the side of the screen, which I just personally prefer, um, but it's up to you. I also think I want it a little bit faster. So I'm going to, again, just raise that up, maybe drag this in a little bit so it's a bit of a shorter length. There we go. Pretty happy with that. So that's animation one. Let's do animation two, which is the paradise. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but this time I'm going to do it faster, because, but it's the same process. So I click on paradise. I need two effects. I need to apply crop, drag it over, and I need to apply transform, drag it over. Um, now, this time I'm going to remember that crop actually has to be above that text element. Okay, um, I'm going to start with transform again. I'm going to set two animation keyframes. So I think I want the animation to end at this point. So this will be my first keyframe. Toggle animation on, keyframe has been applied. I'll move this back to the start of the element, put in another keyframe, that's the starting keyframe. And this time I want Paradise to go from bottom to top. So I'm working in the Y axis. I'm going to move this all the way down, probably about there is fine because I'm going to crop it. And I need to change this element to ease in so I can get that velocity line and then I'll speed up the velocity line again. All right, so I'll just press play and see how that looks. Not too bad. All right, um, in that case, I'm just going to change the cropping so it doesn't appear from the bottom of the screen, but it appears from an invisible line. So my crop options, left, top, right, bottom. This time I want to crop from the bottom. So I'll move that percentage just up until it's just underneath the word paradise. And then I'll press play and let's see how that looks. Nice. I'm happy with that. Okay. And then you just do exactly the same thing in reverse when you want these elements to disappear. Now, the easiest way to um, make the elements disappear is just applying a cross dissolve um, transition effect at the end, like I showed you in a previous video. And so then just press space and they'll just disappear, right? That is the absolute easiest way to end an animation. But of course, I didn't do that. If you looked at my other animation, they actually move off screen. So I'll keep going and show you how to do that. I'll delete the cross dissolves. So let's first go with the welcome to text. Um, I have my two animation elements, start of animation, end of animation. Now, in order for that text to disappear, I'm gonna need two more animation elements, another start and another end. So um, let's say, obviously the end is going to be here. That's gonna be the end. So I'll put in another keyframe. And then I want the animation to start probably about there. I'll put it in another keyframe. Okay, so I've got two more keyframes. Um, now, the start, it should look like this, so that's fine. 
the end, the text should be off screen. So it's the end that I need to change. So let's just make sure I have the end selected. How can you tell if you have it selected? You'll see that this uh, keyframe icon will go blue. So I move that over and you see how it goes blue? There it's selected. Okay, I want this to move top to bottom. So I'm going to be working in the Y axis and I'll move this down. That's enough. I will change this again to this time it's going to be ease out. So basically it will start slow and then get faster as opposed to the other way around. And I'll grab this element and drag it up just to increase that velocity speed again. So have a look what that looks like. Okay, so it kind of drops down. Um, looks a bit silly at the moment because I don't have the crop applied. So that's what I'll do right now. So I'll go up into my crop. Um, this time I need to operate with the bottom crop. I'll just drag it underneath the welcome. And now let's have a look. Probably a bit more cropping I need. Let's try 59%. No, even more. <laughs> it's very fiddly this. Try there, 72%. Okay, that looks better. Okay, and then I do exactly the same thing for Paradise, the other text element, but I need to get them exactly the same timing. So let's first off get this at exactly the right point. I can see it because the blue dots will appear. So that's my start of animation for the welcome text. So I want to go to the Paradise text, add a keyframe at exactly the same point, and then I'll go back to my welcome text and move this to the next, the end of animation keyframe. I can tell because it's blue. Click on the paradise text, add the next animation, and there you go. I've got them both at exactly the same point. Go to ease out. Make sure that end animation is off screen. Increase the speed. There we go, finally it's working. Okay. And as you can see now, the speeds are slightly different. Um, so that would require you to go in to each individual element and just change those speeds around until they kind of match. I think they match well enough. So there we go. That's how long it takes just to animate three words. Um, it's a very long time consuming process and that's why I've given you so many different uh, options. But if you do want to play around with keywording, uh, keyframing, um, there's so many different things you can do to really make your animations as complicated as you want. Uh, there's also a wealth of information online and on YouTube of people creating their own kind of text animations and then explaining how to go about it. So if you really want to go down this rabbit hole, um, have fun. I hope that's been helpful. Um, sorry this last video uh, is, is quite difficult to explain and show, but um, if you've made it this far, Congratulations, and I hope you're happy with your animations.